All right, so I got my first furnace trip up. And I'm just notching this corner to where it hits the bottom down there. So what I'm doing now, I've got a, a measurement for the ceiling, which is 55 and a quarter. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking my Sharpie here, and I'm just using the factory edge, and I'm just marking a, marking it out like so. So I get my straight edge to cut. I'll take my grinder and just grind along there. So what I'm doing now is I've got the metal that I'm putting up on the ceiling. I've got it laid on the floor because I want all the screws to be in a straight line. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm pre-drilling my holes first. So that way when I'm up there, I don't have to, to fight with trying to put the long screws in. Because I'll, I'll already have it all pre-drilled and they'll all be in a straight line. So this is how I'm doing it. Um, I did put the first piece up. <clears throat> I did put the first piece up, so I know what my measurement is on my screws already. And then so, uh, so all I'm doing is I'm just so the first uh, at the bottom is three and three quarter, and then uh, 29, and then uh, 53 and an eight. So I got those marks, and then what I do is I take a, I take a piece that I cut, and I use the factory edge, lay it on there, and I get my line where I marked it. And then what I do is I take a little quarter inch sheet metal screw, put it in there. I know what I want to drill, so I just because I'm just using that factory edge and I'm doing every other seam or every other groove. I'm just starting to hold is all I'm doing so I don't have to fight with it while I'm up in the ceiling. Because it's hard enough to hold it up. And I just, after I'm done with the first hole, I go down and find my next line. Which is right there. All right, and then I take this and I flip it over. And the reason I flip it over is because at the top here, this is going to be the top because this is my cut edge. And then so if if I didn't flip it over, what would happen is it would kind of go cockeyed a little bit. And then so my uh, line wouldn't be straight. So that's why I flip it over. It's 
hard to put the screw in with these gloves on. I normally don't wear gloves, but and like I said, I'm just doing every other one. That's 15 screws per panel. That's a lot of screws. And slide that out of the way. Other pieces. Like that. And then we're down to the last piece. So what I'll do now is I'll uh, get this one all marked up and then we'll start hanging these. piece over here we'll match those screw holes up and we'll be good well I've got one side of my building done in the corrugated metal now I've never done this before so there was some trial and errors I've actually had the ceiling down twice and had it up three times and that's the third time right there. Didn't have it all the way up. I uh, had it partially up. And what was happening was where the seams went together, I was getting a little lift off of one of the edges and it was looking bad. And the reason for that is because I never popped a line. See that line up there? That little blue line? I never popped a line on that side. And so what I did is I got one, one piece level straight up and down and I was trying to just use it and just let the rest of them you know be in line with the first one well that doesn't happen because you get it just a little bit off and your pieces will start moving like that so I learned from my mistake first time I've ever done it I always get a reference line in that little blue line up there and all I did was measure from the corner right there up 55 and a quarter. Did the same thing on that end. And now I'll cut my metal 55 inches. That'll give me a quarter of an inch at the end to play with down here against the wall. And it'll go up a lot better. Because what'll happen is if you don't give yourself about a quarter of an inch when you go screw the last screw against on that uh, fern strip, it'll suck the metal up and it'll be against the wall and the metal will bend in. It'll be all right, you can cover it up, but uh, just avoid the hassle. So all the fern strips are up, except for I gotta pull the can light down and put fern strips on that two by four up there, you know, on all three can lights. And that way that'll drop the can light down the three quarter that I need and that way I won't have a three quarter inch gap when the metal goes across the top there. So, so it'll go up, down, and across. And then the ceiling will be done. And once the ceiling gets done, then I'll do all my trim out on my outlets and uh, get power out here. Still got to go back in the, in the house and hook everything up. And then I'll work on my mini split. Um, and then once I get the mini split up, I'll be able to turn the heat on out here because the mini split's going to go right there. I'll be able to turn the heat on out here instead of using that little electric heater. And I'll have lights out here instead of using that light because after I get my ceiling up, I ain't going to have no place to mount my light. I guess I could mount it on the door, but you know, that defeats the purpose of having a door to keep it closed. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. 
playing hooky from work actually to take care of this because I need to get the ceiling up. Well, I got both sides of the ceiling done, as you can see. And I started working on the center part. Got about eight foot into the room. And it is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, the, where they join together, I'm having those pieces made actually. I can make them here, but all I'll be able to make is uh, four foot lengths. And I don't want that many seams, so I got to sheet metal shop to make me some trim pieces for where the two pieces come together, right there. Uh, two 10 footers on each side. And I'm, I'm having them make some L, or some angle brackets, some 90 degrees uh, angles for up there on the gable. Uh, I may use them, I may not. As you can see, I'm right to the center can light there and I have to get my piece up there and take a measurement on it and we'll be halfway done then. Alright, well the ceiling is done. I just have to pick up the trim pieces right there where the seams are. Over there. Got my can lights down there. I just painted them silver because uh, they were white. Hard to put a white can light up on a silver ceiling. That's it. Ceiling done except for the, like I said, except for the trim piece. And that'll be here tomorrow and I'll put it up. And then I guess I'll start staining the walls so I can figure out what color outlets to get. Probably get gray. I don't know. We'll just see. Well, I finally got the trim pieces in. Picked them up from the sheet metal shop the other day and uh, got them tied in. And it really, really ties that ceiling together. Makes it look like a totally different ceiling altogether. It turned out really well. First time I've ever done a ceiling like this, as I said before. I just got to go back and you can see some little stickers up there. Uh, got to go peel all those off and wipe the ceiling down, get all the fingerprints off, and then I'll be done with the ceiling. But, but it really did turn out good. Got my can lights done. Painted silver. They just blend into the ceiling now. But yeah, for my first corrugated metal ceiling, I think it turned out pretty good.